one has to face head on what is my biggest hindrance to winning and the answer is actually quite counterintuitive and it's what you have to offer your talent <laughs> motivation is everything this is podcast number four as promised in podcast number three we said we're going to be looking at building the right mindset because in podcast number three we were able to look at some of the things you can gain by having the right mindset and some of the things we found out was that the right mindset helps your self-esteem some of the things we also found that was that having the right mindset helps you harness the drive that you need to be able to succeed at whatever you do because oftentimes in life it's not about what you start but how you finish and having the right mindset kind of provides you with that drives that takes you across the finish line so the question is how do we get this right mindset is it even important is it even possible to get that right mindset can we honestly as every person walking the face of the earth believe that we can achieve the mindset I think the answer is yes just like everything you can have the right tools that gives you the access to the right mindset and in this podcast podcast number four I am titling it building the right mindset part one and we're going to be looking at some of the ways that you can develop the right mindset that I think will help first you first and foremost that. we're actually going to try to understand what is one of the biggest hindrance to winning this is a question that you, everyone has to face head on. What is my biggest hindrance to winning? And the answer is actually quite counterintuitive and it's what you have to offer. Your talent. Talent is one of the biggest hindrance to winning. So the question is, why is talent the biggest hindrance to winning? Is it because talent is not enough? In the book Bounce, the myth of talent and the power of practice. It was easy to see that most things that people consider as talent is actually not what talent eventually is. Because what you have to offer most times, most people ascribe as their talent is their natural gifting. It is something they think that comes very easy to them. And so in building a winning mindset, you almost have to understand that those things that come easy to you stand in the way of you developing a winning mindset and you're going to have to be able to ask people understand that if I'm going to build a mindset that will win I'm going to understand that this is how much I've got but this is how much I actually need to offer that I have less than I can offer and therefore I'm going to build on what I have to be able to achieve what I can offer and so winning mindset must not rely on talent but build on talent. A winning mindset must acknowledge talent but put it as a foundational function for what it wants to do in future. Because inherently in talent is fundamental for talent not to be comfortable with failure. Because talent believes this is what I have and therefore I cannot fail. But if you rely on talent and failure comes around, you just cannot, uh, you cannot reconcile the two. And therefore, if you're going to develop a winning mindset, you're going to address this fact that how much or what I have as my natural gifting is the foundation of this huge thing that I have to offer. And that 
is going to make a huge difference in where you go. Talent is the foundation that you need to achieve what you want to achieve. What next? What do you need to build on that talent next? I think the next question you need to ask yourself is have you got the right amount of grit to build on your talent? So the question is what is grit? In the book Grit, the Power of Perseverance and Passion, Angela described grit as that power to be able to persevere, find the passion and persevere through that passion. And I, I would add that not only do you persevere, you add action after action after action in your perseverance. So if you're going to build on your talent, you're going to develop some grit. Because as you go through life, you're going to have to be able to find the passion, find something that excites you. And in doing that thing that excites you, you're going to find weaknesses in yourself. How you respond to those weaknesses is what helps you build your grit. Most people have a response that is linked to quit. They, let, they lose and quit while others lose and learn. There are two people on earth, those who lose and learn and those who lose and quit. There is absolutely no one who has not suffered the loss. But there are two people on earth, those who lose and learn and those who lose and quit. Developing grit is linked to losing and learning from it. It's not how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get up. Because failure is not final until you have accepted it. And that is because you have grit. If you're going to build on the foundation of talent, you're going to need to build on grit. Develop the right amount of of grit. Hello, thank you for listening to the part one of the Winning Mindset, which is on the episode four of our podcast. Listen tomorrow for part two of the Winning Mindset, where we look at building on talent and grit. What next do we need to do? So look out for part two tomorrow as we begin to build on how can we gain the Winning Mindset. Don't forget to subscribe to Motivation is Everything and look out for check out our Facebook page, our check out our Facebook page as well as our Instagram page. Thank you very much for being here.